Let's play some daily word games. It is Wednesday, May 18th, 2022. There are three weeks left of school for my kids, and I cannot count down fast enough. Uh, of course, now that the mask mandates have been dropped, everybody's bringing colds home, and I think I was the lucky recipient of a mild cold from my eight-year-old. So uh, I'm going to get through this video, and then I'm going to rest my eyes. <laughs> Uh, I'm just feeling a little, you know, when you sort of just vaguely don't feel well, but there's nothing like specifically wrong. Yeah, that's where I am. It's not COVID, um, thankfully. Uh, anyway, how are all of you? Let's get to some daily games. Um, this is my new intro screen where I can be bigger while I talk to you. And then when I switch to the games, I can be my little box. <laughs> so uh, today's games, it is Wednesday. It's uh, Quartal, Squirtle, and Wordle Peaks. We get three today. So, Quartle, I do not have starting words, so for the heck of it, I'm going to use stare, because I like stare. By the way, feel free to suggest in the comments um, starting words you'd like to see for Quartle and, and these daily games as well, because since I'm not doing the same games every day, I don't have the sort of chain of starting words like I did before. So if you've got some amusing phrase or some set of words you'd like me to try, feel free to, feel free to comment, and I might, I might try them out. Okay, stare is good. We do stare and pound. Excellent. So, P-R-O-N-G? Prong? Gotta be, right? Yeah. Oh, excellent. G-R-A... There's a P... Grasp? No, no S. Gramp? Is that a... It does accept it. I don't know. Um... I mean, it's got to be, I'm going to try it. Oh, okay. So, it's not grape. There's no E. Am I just, it's grap, no, grap, grapey, grapey? Is that a word? Oh, graph. Oh my god. Graph. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Oops. I'm like, what else could it possibly be? There are no other words in the English language. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot to go on on the bottom here. Probably ends in TH. That would be my hunch. It needs a vowel. The I, I T H. Like. Um. Maybe? Or TC, I T C H maybe. Which? Which looks pretty good. Yeah, all right. Oh, there's an I in that word too. There's a lot of vowels in this word. It's not voila, is it? It is. Oh, that shows up a lot. All right, well, that went pretty well. Seven, I, I'm okay with seven. Um, Cool, that's, uh, that's Quirtle. All right, Squirtle, uh, we'll play the daily. Number 104. So um, I could start with the quartal words for this, right? What were they? <laughs> Prong, graph, witch, and voila. Why not? Actually covered a lot of bases. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so we have really gone back and verified that there are no eyes in this puzzle. And I thought I had the setting on that automatically, yeah, auto hide because that way there's a little bit less clutter on the screen. Not a bad start, really. So there's an O in this word. Oh, there's O's. So this is probably an O, because I don't think there are very many words that start there. I mean, there are words that start with AO, like aorta, but this can't be aorta, and I don't know of any others, so I'm going to put an O there. And then the A for, there's still an O here. This could have double O, I suppose. I wonder what this is. Missed a couple. All right, the middle word. So let's try something with an O in the middle. Maybe try something with double O and just see. Um, 
boost, maybe? No, this can't be a T. Or, um, there could be an R here, maybe. Like, force? Oh, no, there's not an R here. Okay, so R is one of these two. I know that because um, this is white, so there is not an R in this word. Let's see. I mean, I don't have a lot of information. I'd really like to try the double O. But the thing is that, like, if you can't find a word that fits all the criteria, then you're probably reaching in the wrong direction, right? Like, if I can't find a word that's double O here that doesn't end in T, for example, or doesn't end, or ends in a letter that can't go here, like, if I can't find one, then I know it's wrong. Oh, there's an A in this word as well. Um, we've got options for the A. I'm gonna try nomad. Get some info. Oh no, there's no N. Ah, that was such a good idea. Um, what about moody? I like that. Okay, so there is a double O. So now it shows me that yes, there are two O's in this word. You tried two O's, and while the two the second O wasn't where you put it, there is another O in this word. That's interesting. You can see the double arrows here. So there's another O in one of these two spots. There's still an A. Maybe here? Maybe at the end? I don't know. All right, now these words, okay, this word has a G and a T in it, which makes me want to try agate, which would also fit with that word ending in A. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Now we go back up here. I wonder what goes here. It could be like gamma? No, it can't be gamma. It's not mama, is it? No, it could be. Because um, there is an M in this word as well. M A M M A or M, yeah. Um, right. I don't really want to try that with so little other information. But if the M isn't first here, then it would have to be here. I suppose that's possible. And then across could definitely be an A here. I haven't tried, oh, I have tried all the vowels. Oh, except U. There's not an O here. There's a V somewhere in the puzzle. I wonder where that goes. Boy, I'm, try I'm tempted to try mama, but I hate it if it's wrong. Okay, if this word starts with M, M O, what else? This could be, a oh no, it can't be A order, because if it were, the T would be here, but this T would be pointing up at it. Okay. Because this could be an R. <laughs> In fact, it very well might be. So if this is M O, I don't know. I don't know what it go what would be. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know what it would be going down. Huh. I guess I just have to try something and see what happens. What about comma? I'm gonna do that. Oh, I knew there wasn't an O there. What am I doing? So I guess it does start with M, so it must be mama. Okay. So what is this? M O Oh boy. Alright. Coming down. We have an O in this word and an A and an R. Mayor? Mayor fits. 
or major. Well, that puts a Y or a J here, if that's right. That seems hard. The, there's the second O in this word. It must go here, right? I mean, it has to, in fact, it's, it's, it's forced. So what is this word? Boy, this is a, this is tough today, I think. Coco? Oh, there is a C in this word. All right, Coco. I'm gonna do Coco. Good. Okay, good. Still don't know what this is. It ends in O. Oh, it's macro. Okay, so this is an O. Oh, what else do we know? Not much. There's an, okay, it starts with A. Uh, alone? No, there's no L or N. Um, above. Gotta be. Yes, nice. Okay. Now we're getting there. So what is this word? M-O-C... Oh, mocha. M-O-C-H-A. We got mocha and cocoa. I like this one. So here's the real challenge. Can I get an M, A, and then an H here and fill both of these in with one guess? Like maths. I bet I can. Let's see if this works. It did. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I filled them both in at once. That was great. So what I did, if that wasn't obvious, um, the game counts the clue as solved or the word as solved, as long as you've got all five green letters. So you don't have to type the word exactly. You just have to have gotten all the, the green letters in. And so I had it such that I could fill in the A for mama and the H for mocha and finish both words at the same time by filling in those two letters. So it didn't matter if the other letters in the word weren't part of it because the, the A and the H matched. That was really cool. That, that was fun. That was really satisfying to do. And then I said macro for this one. And we're done. Nice. I yeah, pretty good, feel pretty good about that. That was that was tough, but uh I like it's a very comforting one. Mama, mocha, cocoa. I'm all about that. All right. One more game. Don't mind if I do. Okay, Wordle Peaks. Um Let's see. What should we start with from the Squirtle. Oh, they're also bad. They're, they're fine words, but they're not good starting words for Wordle Peaks. I guess I'll do Mocha. It's not terrible, except for the A. Okay, and if you're not familiar with Wordle Peaks, all we do is each clue tells us whether the letter that goes in that slot is higher or lower in the alphabet than the letter that we've placed there. And we have to build a word that meets those criteria. So I need a, a letter that's later in the alphabet than M to start the start the word off. So I'm gonna go with an I think a T and then R O I don't think that's the reason I said the A isn't good is because if it's not A then the rest of the alphabet is still available. So I mean trot isn't great. What about What about well, I wanted to do stock. Stock is good. Yeah, good. All right. So we've narrowed the range for the first letter to N through R. So that's a pretty good narrowing. So let's do P because that's right in the middle. And then this must. Actually, okay, so C is there. So this must be a U. Um, let's see, P U. I'm remembering that this is a C. C H maybe or C E? Oh, punch. I bet it's punch. Yeah, it's got to be. No. Oh, surprising. Okay. Um. Oh, ounce. Ounce. Yes. All right. Awesome. There we go. See? Under two minutes. That's how it should be. 
Uh, by the way, if you did not see my Wordle solve today, I solved it fast enough that I didn't even have to edit the video. <laughs> it was really awesome. So check that out. Um, Dr. Hoodle didn't go quite as well, but it didn't go as badly as the last few have. And um, yeah, I guess that'll that'll do it for me. I'm big again. <laughs> so uh, if you've got suggestions for games you'd like to see, you can leave those in the comments. If you've got suggestions for videos you'd like to see, you can leave those in the comments. Uh, don't forget, I have a Patreon if you'd like to support me there. It's just um, uh, patreon.com slash geogesser. You can support me for as little as a dollar a month. You get access to bonus videos and cat pictures. And um, thank you so much to everybody who has helped me over the hump to 100. I'm actually up to 119 last I checked, which is very exciting. And one of my Wordle vid videos the other day went a little viral, so that was cool. Um, all your likes and comments, they really help. So thank you very much for sticking with me, and I will see you tomorrow.